Okay, Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We stopped last time at, redu at reduction. I hinted at reduction before. We talked about um, reduction in very brief. And today, we talk about reduction in detail, inshallah. So, um, it's basically built on, on the, um, the prime concept we were talking about. We said the prime concept in grammar is that every sentence must have one subject and one verb, correct? And we said, um, we said, if you would like to have more one, one subject and one verb in the sentence, we must add a connector. Uh, and having a connector means we need another subject and another verb. No subject can occur without a verb. No verb can occur without a subject. We cannot have a sentence or a clause with two subjects or with two verbs. Clear? Is, is that clear so far? So for example, when I say the man who works at a bank is my father. Is this sentence correct or incorrect? What do you think? Doctor, I can't see the screen. Uh, yes, I told you uh, I'm a bit... Uh, okay, here it is. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay, so if I say the man who works at a bank is at a bank or the bank is my father, is this sentence correct or incorrect? Correct. Yeah, it's correct because we have a subject, the man. We have the verb, is. Okay. So who works at a bank here is a relative clause. An irrelative clause. What is a relative clause? A relative clause means the relative pronoun, which is who or uh, which or what or what or we are, I'm sorry, or uh, whoever or whomsoever. Okay, this is the relative the pronoun and the subject and the verb. When the relative clause consists of what? The relative pronoun. and the subject, and the verb, correct? And we said who, especially who, where is the subject in who? Can, can somebody say, where is the subject in who? Uh, who itself. Mm -hmm. The subject is built in, the subject is embedded in who. So who is the relative clause, or the, I'm sorry, is the relative pronoun, and the subject at the same time, correct? So we can do something called reduction. In reduction, we remove the relative pronoun and we remove the subject and we remove the verb. We remove all this, we remove all this structure. And instead of them, we add either a gerund, a present participle, remember, or a past participle. Is a if it's, of course, if it's active, then we use the gerund. If it's passive, we use the past participle. Yani the man who works at a bank or at the bank is my father. I can make it the man, huh? instead of who works, the man who? Working. The man as the working at the bank is my father. And we talked about this in the very beginning of our course when we said, be careful of present participle as adjectives or past participles as adjectives. Remember, I give you a hint about reduction. This is, this is the whole case. This is the whole reduction. Okay? And, and the same might occur also with past participles. Zay. When I say, for example, um, the, uh, say, the car, which, is driven, is black. Again, this sentence is correct. We have here the subject, the car. This is the subject. Okay. 
and we have the verb is correct and which is driven is what it's the relative huh? clause it has the subject pronoun and the and the, the relative pronoun and the subject which and the verb is correct now we can reduce this structure into the car huh? the car driven the car being uh, driven oh. lee being lee 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 being lee being no. Oh. Is, 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 is simple present. Why, why, we don't need being here. I will give you a sentence with being because I know that being um, has made some troubles. I'll give you a sentence with being. The car driven is black. Okay. This is simple present and with simple present, this is how the, 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 uh, the passive is formed with simple present. Okay, is and the past participle. For example, if I say the pizza, now we are eating pizza at the moment, which is being eaten, um, has um, a great value. Okay, now the pizza is the subject and has a great value or has is the verb and which is being eaten is what? Relative close. Yes, relative close. And in this structure, this is the passive of continuous present. Okay, somebody is eating this pizza at the moment. Okay, so how can we reduce this, the pizza? Being eaten. Thank you very much. Being eaten has a great value. If a being eaten here is the reduction of which is being eaten. Again, we remove what? The subject and the relative clause and the subject and the verb. What is, what is left? What is left? Being eaten. This is the leftovers of, of the... Uh, relative clause. So, being it. Clear? Yes, clear. Any problems so far? Any problems so far? I don't no. have any problem. No. Look at this sentence. The woman who is waving us is the tour guide. It can be also the woman waving to us. The letter which was written, the letter written last week, the picture that is on the table is full of iced tea, the picture on the table is full of, we remove what? The relative clause and the subject and the verb. Clear? Because we cannot have two subjects and two verbs. I don't understand the article which appears in today's paper. I don't understand the article, the, the article appearing in today's newspaper. Clear? Yes, clear. Okay, okay. Can you can we answer this question? Okay, okay. Sure. Space on several different television programs. The witness gave conflicting accounts of what had happened. We have here. Who appeared? Comma. Be. Comma. By the subject and then a subject and a verb. Comma subject and verb. Okay, so. What do we expect before comma, subject and verb? Let's see. He appeared, if we say he appeared, uh, subject, verb, comma, subject, verb. We cannot do this. Who appeared? It doesn't make any sense. Who appeared in several television programs, comma, the, the, the witness gave? No. Uh, appearing, this is another kind of reduction. Let's talk about it also. So we use complex structures. You like sketch way management. Complex structures. I want you to focus here a little bit. When I say, for example, although I was sick, I went to work. This sentence is correct or incorrect? Correct. 
Correct, it's a full sentence. We have here the connector, the, ad, the ad, uh, adverbial connector, subject and verb, and then comma, subject and verb. Okay. Also, this structure can be reduced. And Emily, remove the subject, only the subject, and the verb, and the connector. They may have result for the reduction of relative clauses, exactly like we do with relative clauses reduction. You remove this, the connector, the subject, and the verb. Sick, or you can say maybe being, because sick here, the verb with gerund. Yes. Being sick, I went to work. Okay. In, in this case, you can, you can add although. And in complex structures, you can put although. It's optional. It can be added and it can be deleted. Although being sick or being sick, I went to work. I'll give you another example. <clears throat> because he had exams, comma, he studied all night. How can we reduce this? How can we reduce this? Remove because and um, put also. We put what? Although, although. Lee, we have although here, we have because here, the, the, this is the, the connector. Hmm. We can remove because. As uh, a having them, he studied all night. I was up to We remove the connector, we remove the subject, we remove the verb, and we add, instead of the verb, we add what? A gerund. Having exams, comma, he studied all night. Is it yeah. clear now? Anybody having problem here? We can add because also. Yes, it's optional. You can put you can put because because having exams, but it's better not to add because. It's better to make it like this. It's more formal, more rhetorical. Okay, better in language. Okay. خلاص واضحة. Yes. But we have here a little problem that is not mentioned in the book. We have here a little problem. So many people make this mistake. It's called dangling modifier. And um, Ikalanda. What's the other example there? Because the students made serious mistakes. Comma, the teacher punished them. This sentence is correct or incorrect? Correct or incorrect? What do you think? Incorrect because um, it doesn't Why? have um, it doesn't have uh, connected. Yeah, because but, uh, subject or verb. Because correct. subject verb, and then subject and verb. So we have here because. Connector, subject verb, comma, subject verb. So this sentence is correct. Okay. Okay. When we want to make a reduction to the sentence, we leave it like this. We say, "Making mistakes." Fix my meeting, yeah, Rod. Making, making serious mistakes. Comma, huh? Hello. The teacher punished. No, Ali. Why not? Shall we put the uh, punished? The teacher punished them. Okay. Directly? Who made the mistake? Students. If I'm making the mistakes, you have to start with the students. And the band is. You have to start with the subject who made these mistakes. Making mistakes, students were punished. You cannot making mistakes, the teacher 
was punished uh, the teacher punished the students who made the mistakes the students so the subject of the following sentence must be the same you have to start with students you cannot say you cannot say making mistakes the teacher punished the students if you say this it means the teacher is the one who made the mistake okay so, yes. so this is called dangling modifier this mistake is called dangling modifier it means the modifier is dangling okay it's not correct make sure when you use this structure the subject of the gerund or of the past participle must be the same as the subject of the following clause i'll give you another example um driven so fast comma the car made an accident is this sentence correct yes Yes, driving. it's correct. It's correct because driven, the car is not driving. The car is driven. The car is driven. The car is not driving. We people, humans drive cars, but cars do not drive themselves. They are driven. Okay? Because it was driven so fast, comma, the car made an accident, and it is reduced as driven so fast, comma, the car made an accident. But you cannot say, for example, driven, driven so fast, comma, uh, the driver made an accident. Can you say this? No. Is the driver driven or driving? Driving. So we can say driving so fast, comma, the driver made an accident. This would be correct, but not driven so fast. You understand it now? Yes. I understand it's a bit complicated. Um, but if you have a problem so far in what I'm saying, just say, we can uh, explain again. And maybe with more examples and questions, things will be clearer. Is this clear for all of you now, guys? So we the problem? Uh, to change the, uh, the sentence or to make reduction for the sentence, we have to change the verb to the gerund or, the, uh, or to the past participle? Yes, it's either the gerund or the past participle. Reduction means you have to. In reduction, you do two things. First of all, you eliminate the connector, the subject, and the verb. This is the first thing you do. And that's why it's called reduction. You eliminate uh, connector, subject, verb. And the second thing you do, instead of the verb, you add a gerund or a past participle. Again, two things. Reduction means two things. Eliminate, omit, connector, subject, and verb, all of this is eliminated. And the second thing you must do, instead of this verb, you put either gerund or past participle. Clear? Clear. Yes, clear. And again, again, do not make the mistake of dangling modifier. The subject must be the same. You know, look at the first sentences that we took. Look at the first sentences that we took. The man working at the bank is my father. Or, uh, not me. Okay, being eaten, for example, the pizza was blah, 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 blah. Okay? Okay, fine. Before we move on, before we get back to the, uh, to the, uh, to the book, remember, I said before, in IELTS writing and in TOEFL writing, I would like to take a break here. Are we all on the same line? In IELTS writing and in TOEFL writing, in IELTS speaking and in TOEFL speaking, you need to use a variety of structures. A variety of structures. We said this before. You use compound structures, compound structures, complex structures. Yes. Narda, today we add something more. We add a new structure that I want you always to use in your writing, which is adverbials. 
adverbial zalawa e, you start a sentence with something like this, with either a gerund or, or a past participle. Uh, when, when your assessor, let me say, like when your assessor sees that you use compound structures correctly, you use complex structures correctly, you use adverbials correctly, modify or determine any mistake. Okay, وفي structure وفي حاجة تانية هناخدها بعد كده اسمها parallelism. دي حاجة رابعة. If you use all these structures correctly in your writing or in your speaking, you will take not less than seven in IELTS in in, in grammar. يعني if if you would like to hit seven in IELTS writing or in IELTS speaking, you have to vary your structures. كم بدي نسمع كتير. Vary your structures. Vary your structures. يعني إيه أvary يعني إيه How do I vary my structures? You can vary your structures. If you use compound structures correctly, if you use complex structures correctly, if you use adverbials correctly, and if you if you if you use parallel structures correctly, we will take parallel structures later on. We will take parallel structures later on. Don't don't get don't worry about them now. But I want you to when you are writing for your IELTS or TOEFL, I want you to um, uh, make like a checklist, and this is what I do with my students in advanced levels. They do like a checklist. Have I used compound structures in this essay? Have I used complex structures in this essay? Have I used adverbials in this essay? Have I used comparable structures in, the, in this essay? If yes, and if they are all correct, you will take not less than seven in grammar, whether in speaking or in writing. Is this clear? Yes, clear. Okay. Um, so, Let's look at the rule here. Again, it's like we said. We move the connector, the subject and the verb, and we add the verb with ing or ed, or sorry, past participle again. Now, uh, take one minute to answer these questions. Thank you. Correct, I'm sorry, I'm not. Okay, let's have a look together. Serving a term of four years, Comet, the mayor of the town, will face re-election re next year. What do you think? Correct. Hmm? Correct. 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 Is it dangling? Who was serving? The mayor. Mayor, so this is not a dangling modifier. This is a correct structure. How? What? What was the uh, complete structure of this sentence? The mayor of the town uh, will face uh, um, I'm Sorry. That even who in the Again, again, again. After, 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 after. Again, what? What is the complete structure of this sentence? Um, the mayor he is serving. Even the mayor he is serving. The mayor who who? After the mayor. Uh, four years. He will face. Can you see my word document? Hello, what's happening? Is everybody here? Yes, I am. Can you see the... Uh, yes. bit better than my handwriting, huh? My handwriting is awful, I know. So, after, after the mayor served four years, if we would like to reduce this structure, we would make it, huh? 
serving four years. Huh? The mayor. Is okay, the brand new Cadillac purchasing less than two weeks ago was destroyed. What do you think? Incorrect. How can I make it correct? Purchased. Thank you very much. Because the Cadillac is not purchasing anything. It's, it's purchased. You, you buy a Cadillac. It does not buy anything on its own. Very true. Very true. Okay, number five, the fans who are supporting their team. What do you think? Supporting without uh, who? Yes, supporting. Or we can say who support their team always come out. Shkira? Yes. Okay. So next, the suspect can be seen in the photographs were just released. Uh, it's incorrect. Uh, incorrect. How can I make it correct? Uh, By using no, seen and seen and without can be. Remove yeah, the subject. Yes, we remove can be. We remove can be. The move the subject. The, the 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 suspect seen in the photographs were just released by the police. Oh, the suspect can be seen can be seen in the photographs just released, which is but which is better in the meaning. The suspect can be seen in the photographs just released. The photographs which were just released. The food placing uh, on the picnic table attracted. A large number of flies. What do you think? Incorrect. Okay, I think correct. 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 It's okay. Does the food place itself, or is oh, it? It's 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 placed. Placed. Oh, the food be hot enough, or the food be hot? Place. Yeah, it be hot enough. The food, huh? Placed. Placed. I'll try, Amir. I know your voice, Amir. Number eight, impressed with everything she had heard about the course, Mary signed her children up for it. Uh, I think correct. Correct. What is the full structure of this sentence? Hello? Can somebody tell me the full structure of this sentence? Hello? Uh, Mary, you think? After she was first with the course, Mary and her children Okay, so after she was impressed with the course, comma, Mary signed her children up. How can we reduce this? We remove after, we remove she, we remove was, we remove all these structures, and then it becomes impressed with the course, comma, Mary signed up, blah, blah, blah. Here? Yes. Oh, it's much better to write on, uh, on, on Word, huh? Passengers yes. in the airport waiting room heard the announcement. It's incorrect. How can I make it correct? Put uh, or after uh, before uh, waiting. Uh, passengers in, are in the waiting room or heard the announcement groaned. So groaned is the verb. How can you make it correct? Hello. In just a minute, you're thinking. Remove the ID uh, of, uh, of uh, cancel. I'm sorry, again. Uh, remove ED of the uh, of uh, cancel. 
of the cancelled لا it's it's correct Okay. After after the passengers in the wait in the after the passengers in the waiting airport room heard the announcement of the cancelled flight, comma they groaned audibly. This is the only this is the only way I can make this structure correct. After after the passengers in the waiting room. Heard the announcement of the cancelled flight. They groaned. So here we have after, we have subject, we have verb, we have comma, we have subject, we have the verb. Um, we can reduce this structure. How can we reduce this structure? Hmm. How can we reduce this structure correctly? Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, here the announcement of the cancelled flight, the passengers groaned. Any uh, again, Amira? Uh, here the announcement of the cancelled flight, comma, the passenger groaned. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we remove after. We remove after, we remove the passengers, we remove every, we remove all this and we make it hearing. Hearing the announcement of the cancelled flight, comma, the, the passengers groaned. Thank you very much. Dissatisfied with the service at the restaurant, the meal really was not enjoyable. Ah, what do you think? I think it's correct. Would somebody else again? It's correct. I think it's correct. Well, I think it's incorrect to this. This is fine. Okay, dissatisfying with the service at the restaurant. Mainly, can dissatisfied with the service at the restaurant. Who was dissatisfied? Clients, people. Clients. So we have to start this sentence with what? The following sentence with the, the clause with what? The Dissatisfied. Client. Yes, clients. Huh? We have to start with clients, but anything but make the, the subject clients. Dissatisfied with the service at the restaurant, comma. Clients said, uh, reported, clients reported that the meal was not enjoyable. Clients said the meal was not enjoyable, but you cannot start with the meal. What mistake is this? What do we call it? Dangling modifier, correct? Correct? Yeah. Yes. Any problems here? What is the meaning of dangling modifier? It means the modifier is 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 like not stable on the subject. It's dangling. It's it's not being stable. It's not consistent. It lacks consistency. To be more specific, it lacks consistency. Okay. 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 Um, here we have another kind of reduction. Um, before we move on to the next kind of reduction, is this part clear? I understand it, it took so much time of us, but is this part clear so far? Yes. Okay. The other kind of structure, of reduced structures, comes with uh, only some kind of adverbials. The only difference, it is pretty much the same. The only difference is that sometimes instead of uh, adding uh, a present participle or a past participle, you can, add, you can add an adjective. You can keep the adjective, okay? Yeah, and although he is rather unwell, comma, the speaker, blah, 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 you can, of course, remove he, the subject and the verb. We said we can keep although, and you can say, although being unwell, and you can also remove being, only in this case. I don't recommend that you guys use this in your writing, okay? Uh, I don't want you to get distracted. I don't want you to use this in your writing. Just understand it. In your, when you come to write, just follow the rule I was saying before. The rule of uh, 
remove and and present participle or past participle. Okay, I don't want you to get distracted. When ready, it means when you are ready. It can also be when being ready. Shkeda, you can remove you and are and add what instead of them being because we need a present participle or a past participle. When being ready or being ready or when ready, these are all correct structures. Although feeling rather sick, the speaker blah blah blah. It can be also feeling rather rather sick. Remove although feeling rather sick, the speaker will take part. Okay. Problem? No, it's clear. I understand I'm deconstructing many uh, ideas you might be having about grammar, but this is what advanced grammar is like. We are starting to move deep in grammar uh, here today. I think we're starting to move deeply into grammar. So if you have any problems, just make sure you stop and ask and make sure you have the, uh, enough time to absorb, to digest what I am saying. When, comma, you are free to leave. Okay. The rule of thumb here, the orthodox rule, the original rule is when subject verb, comma, subject verb. Correct? Or this can be reduced. What do you think the right answer is? C. When the report, okay. if and only when the report, the report is subject. Now in phrase. There is something very important you need to take care of. Look at this sentence. This sentence. Although rather unwell. Unwell, is it a noun phrase or an adjective? Adjective? Adjective. Adjective. Which noun phrase? If it's a noun phrase, uh, we cannot we cannot make it a noun phrase because if it's a noun phrase it will be subject and if it's a subject it needs a verb. What? And it can be it can be an adjective. Why? Because adjectives do not need anything else. It doesn't need a subject or a verb. So get back here. If we said when the report, the report is subject, it needs a verb. No, you cannot. Do, this is not a deduction. This is not a deduction. This is wrong. When finished with the report? Yes, when finished with the report, when finished, finished is an adjective, and with the report is a prepositional phrase. Very good. You got it? Tani, I will I want to repeat this. When you make reduction, don't you ever, ever, ever insert a noun phrase or any noun because putting a noun means it's a subject and it needs a verb. Don't ever use nouns in reduction. You can use adjectives, you can use gerunds, you can use past participles, but not nouns. Is this clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, this is, again, these are the same rules, the same uh, connectors we, we took before, after, before, since, while, if. They are all subject to this uh, rule I was, I was saying, I was explaining now, okay? Now look at these sentences and just decide that they're right or wrong and this will be the last thing we do today. Okay. Okay. The ointment can be applied where needed. What do you think? 
Incorrect. Uh, I think correct. Correct. So when why incorrect word? It is needed. We removed it. We moved it is and we kept only the adjective or the pres or the best participle. So this is correct. Tom began to look for a job after completing his master's degree in engineering. Correct. 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 By after completing means after he completed. We removed the we removed the subject, removed the verb, and we added we inserted the ing instead of the verb. Although not selected for the team, he attends. Selecting, yes. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my eyes. Uh, okay, so again, uh, it's incorrect. Incorrect. How can I make it correct? Not selected. Not selected because yeah, after uh, be, uh, although he was not selected, so we remove he, we remove was, and we keep only the uh, past participle. When purchased at this store, the buyer gets I don't know what. Thinking. Okay. Okay. If we are buying slaves, this sentence would be correct. Do you buy do you, do, do you buy buyers when purchased? When buyers are buy are bought? Hey, let's be to start. Well, well, when purchasing. Yes, when purchasing. purchasing. When people purchase things at this store, the buyer gets blah blah. blah. When the buyer purchases, okay, so again, beware of dangling modifier. Is this number number six? Is it clear? Yes. yes. The medicine is not effective unless taken as required or as directed. Correct. Correct. As it is directed. You should negotiate a lot before buy new car. Before? Before? Buy. Uh, buying. Buying, thank you very much. So it's incorrect before buying. Why buy before buying? Because it the original sentence before you buy, we, we remove you, we remove buy, and we add the gerund before buying. Once purchased, the swimsuits cannot be returned. Correct. Correct. We have about the passive. Once swimsuits are purchased, this is the original sentence. Once Once when suits are purchased, they cannot be returned, correct? So how do we make reduction here? We remove all this structure, all this is removed, and we just keep the word purchased as passive because they are both not they, they do not buy, they are bought, they are passive. Okay. Though located near the coast, comma, the town does not get much an ocean breeze. Locating. It is located, it is locating. Correct? Oh, correct. Egypt is located in Africa. Okay. The store is located in uh, North Street, for example located in although it is located near the coast although it is located near the coast comma the town does not get much of it blah, blah, blah. okay okay um how about you do uh skills 13 you do this as homework and you do this also as homework okay you do this okay. activity and that activity as homework and we'll start Next time we'll check in them. I'll start with uh, correcting them with you. And this also, wow, we have lots of homework. Cool. I love homework. <laughs> Makes you study. Okay, it's skills one to 14, and I love uh, these comprehensive uh, activities. It will save much time of us if you do it, um, if you do it um, 
at, uh, at home and then we will do it uh, we'll do them together tomorrow inshallah okay 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 i have a question maybe sure, because i came late okay yeah um okay uh, the, mm -hmm. the last the previous page the previous page when when talking about once and though sometimes we we said selected one once uh, sometimes we said selecting so is there a rule for for this uh, for example if it's active uh, yes, if it's this active page? use if it's active ah. use the gerund if it's passive use the past participle always if it's active gerund yani if you are selecting then gerund if it's uh -huh. passive, if, if someone is like selected or, or something is selected, we use the, the, the past participle if it's passive. Correct? Is it clear okay. now? Yes. And please get back to the video, watch it from the beginning because the, the, the very beginning of the video is very important. All this video is very important. I will upload the video inshallah in uh, like half an hour or something. Okay? So that's it. Uh, any more questions? Okay. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow, inshallah, at the same time. Um, do the homework. Thank you. Okay, Dr. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Question? Uh, do you move uh, to homework? Uh, but I uh, want to uh, take screenshot. Um, take them from the video. You can uh, see the video and uh, in uh, like half an hour or something and just take the screen just from the video, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You're most welcome.